man, we got this freaking nice camera and the audience hates it. Like, I wanted to step up the game. That video looked like a movie. It was so crisp. And everyone's just complaining because they're like, oh, the background's not in focus. We want to see the target and you shooting. And I was like, ugh. So you know what? We'll go back to what everybody wanted before. We will shoot on old school. Give the people what they want. All right, let's start this video. Come on. Welcome to Demolition Ranch, guys. Glad to see you guys today. Come on, let's see what we got to shoot today. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Great video for you today. It involves this new pistol. Pistol. This is a CZ Bren. More on that later because we're going to start small with some other guns first. Basically, I'm kind of going through all the stuff that you might have around your house that you possibly could use for body armor. So here's what I'm thinking. This is just your regular like asphalt roof shingles. So they're basically tar and like little pieces of gravel put together. I think they can stop a bullet. They're very heavy. So I'm just wondering like if you had maybe five of them. There's five, that's four, five of them on your chest and someone busts in with like a 22 long rifle, would that stop a bullet? There's only one way to know. And eventually we'll get up to shooting the new rifle that you guys all came here to see. I have these five right here spaced out with a couple uh, couple 50 BMG shells and we're gonna shoot them with this Walther P22. 22 long rifle right there. I think it'll stop. I think it will not go through. Giddy up. 22 long rifle going straight at our front five. Hole right there. Oh man, it went way through. Golly. That's one, two, three, so that's eight, nine. I don't think it went through nine. Yeah, it stopped there somewhere. Stopped on the eight or ninth one there. Dang, okay, well, hmm. We're gonna step it up. Of course we brought a 50 cal today, but I don't know if this is enough to stop a 50 cal. I really was hoping that you could put a normal amount on your chest, like cut little one foot squares and that could be body armor. But looking like no, 22 would have still gone through five of them. Let's see how many it takes to stop a nine millimeter. Cause the bad guy's probably gonna break in with a nine millimeter. And if you can't stop it within like 10 of these, then these are not good for body armor. And we're gonna have to cancel all those orders of roofing shingles that I placed to start my body armor company. Dang it. Nine millimeter out of this old Glock 17. If it goes through more than 10, this uh, this idea is scrapped. All right. Oh, is the uh, is the target in focus too? Okay, good, yeah. And I'm, I'm also, you can see me and the target. It's all good? Okay. Here we go! There's our hit, big nine millimeter coming in. Go one, two, three, I don't know how many that is. Let's just see if they went through this whole pack. Okay, yep, still going through right there. Still going through right there. Yep, still going through. Yep, and went into the second pack. Dang it, this is the worst idea I've ever had. Ugh. Did not go through the second pack though. Well, I guess that's actually probably the end of the video, guys. These tar and gravel roofing shingles will not stop a bullet very well and are not a good choice for body armor. I said it. But let's just keep shooting them anyway for no reason. Desert Eagle 50 AE. In the comments below, how many do you think it's gonna go through? How many packs? I'm gonna say it's gonna go through three packs, not all the way through the fourth pack. Jeez, that gun is insane. Little baby 22, our big nine, and our giant 50 AE. So let's see how many packs we made it through. Oh my gosh, look at this. What? That's the bullet. It made it through a pack and stopped on the second right here. Is there more to this? Or that, that is the whole bullet, isn't it? What the heck? So maybe me investing all my kids' college funds into roofing shingles to make this company work was not a bad idea. Mayor, told you it's gonna be fine. Yeah, that's the whole bullet. 
right there. It squished, it flattened out, uh, and it made it through this and stopped, I mean, less than a centimeter into the second pack. I got no explanation for that. When this video goes live, we'll throw this in a random package if you order some merch. So go get you some merch, linked in the description below. That giant 50 cal round made me wonder what a bigger round, a slug, would do. So I'm gonna shoot a slug out of this shotgun and see if one pack would stop a slug because this has a bigger surface area. Hold up, I gotta, I gotta figure out the magic. There it is. This has a bigger surface area. I don't think it goes as deep as a 50 AE, but there's only one way to know. Yeah, feels so good. So that's from the 50. Slug is somewhere, oh there it is. That's the bulge from the slug. Oh dude, this thing stopped a slug. That is the wad. Where's the actual lead? There's some of it. Hot. There's some lead there. Yeah, it exploded apart. So, stopped in about eight layers. Sweet. We're going to go ahead and step it up to rifles now and see if we can get deeper into all this stuff for still no reason. Bryn time. This is the CZ Bryn. 2 ms it is classified as a pistol as you can see it has this pistol stabilizing brace in the back right here uh, and it has a shorter than 16 inch barrel this is chambered in 556 they also make one in 762 by 39 i paid for this i have never shot it uh, and this is a configuration it came in it has these iron sights it has a side charging handle here which i'm pretty sure reciprocates but i'm not 100 percent sure um, and then your controls are very similar to ar 15s aluminum upper it has a carbon fiber reinforced polymer lower, so it is fairly light. I think there was an 805 Bryn, um, which I have never actually shot, but I heard it was just very heavy and thick. And this one is the one that they have redesigned to make it a very lightweight gun. And since it is a pistol, extra lightweight. So this will be my first time to fire the Bryn. Let's see what it does. Okay, the trigger's light. Oh no. That's not a good sign. We should do that again, but this time we should make it look like a movie. Can you can you make it make it a movie? Are we there? Is it gonna take a little bit to like change camera settings and stuff? Oh, like what about now? Do I look like I'm in it? Do I look like Brad Pitt right now? What? Put the gun down. Stop! I didn't hold me. No. I hope that wasn't too epic for you guys. We have um, given our our friend Pierre over here. Let me introduce you. Uh, how rude of me. This is Pierre. Uh, he just flew in. He's from out of the U.S. Um, and he wanted to try out our new proprietary body armor system. So it's one pack of roof shingles, and we rebrand it and charge you like 400 times what we paid for it. Um, so it's, it's pretty good. Anyway, Pierre, uh, I hope you enjoy your stay, and uh, I'm sure it'd be safe. I have full confidence in my product against a 5.56. Five, What'd you say? Did, did you say am I gonna shoot one? I, I can't hear you, I got earmuffs on.
How you feeling there, buddy? Instead of untaping uh, Pierre's body armor, we could just do this. Oh. <laughs> uh, Pierre was a brand new unshot mannequin. Pretty confident that every, every one of those went straight through him. Um, yeah, we've, we've kind of been destroying a mannequin in every single video. I'm going to try to stop. I'm going to be better. 50 BMG, that is an incendiary round, the blue tip, and we are going to fire it straight through the roofing shingles. Um, Pierre, are you okay? What did you say? He just said, wee oui, wee, oui. okay, we are going. Ugh. Let's see what we can do here. Our mannequins, heads are falling off! Gosh, holy cow. Uh, so, yep, definitely exploded. Did not stop in one, and then just kept on going. Is that, oh, there's pieces of it right there. Ow, that's really hot. That's a piece of copper jacket there. Jeez, Pierre's lower back. Yeah, totally, totally gone. Uh, did it stop? What the heck? Man, this is some weird stuff. So, it seems like the bigger, faster rounds Yep, that's a big piece of metal wrapped in tar. It's not the whole part of the bullet though, because it's not very heavy. It looks like it exploded apart. So these bigger, faster rounds really don't go very far. Our nine millimeter stopped in the second one. Also our 50 BMG stopped in the second one. As long as you're cool with like carrying around like a hundred pounds of weight on your chest, my product will stop every single bullet that a bad guy might shoot at you. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Um, yeah, he did. Very dead. I just want to brin some more. Hit. I haven't shot this one long range at all. So it's got a little, a wide open sight for up close and a little smaller one. All right, let's see if I can offhand 100 yards with iron sights. That was a hit. Sweet. Yeah, those three hits. Four. Five hits in a row. All right, I'm gonna shoot fast and see if I can get any hits. All hits, I'm just, I have no idea. Bryn, this is the Bryn 2MS, the newest uh, little pistol, pistol, rifle added to our collection. Let me know what you guys think. I'm a big fan. I'm not sure why it jammed on that first shot, but we were shooting steel cased Tula ammo, so. I have a good feeling why it jammed uh, with the brass. It's running great. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Demolish Ranch. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Contact line. It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.